Hey YouTube, Tootie back again with another trades, pickups, and um, yeah, a bit of eBay. Uh, it's going to be a long one, this is guys. So uh, grab yourself a beer, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, your bong, whatever, whatever floats your boat. Because uh, yeah, there's a, there's a fair old whack to get through here. Did a hat humongous trade, a fellow YouTuber, um, and I've picked up some really interesting bits of bobs today and uh, a little bit yesterday, and uh, about well, during the week really. And there's only a little bit, tiny little thing off eBay. That's it. So, um, like I say, welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, really appreciate clicking that subscribe button, guys. Uh, like I say that that it means a lot. That's why I do what we do for you guys to enjoy it as much as uh, me uh, talking to you. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna crack on because I'm conscious that I'm gonna start losing light soon. Um, actually, having said that, I might just pop this light on now. Uh. Right. So as is uh, kind of like the format of my uh, my show, hey, eh? my show. Please donate some stuff to my show because it won't continue if it, if, you, if you don't. Um, and then I forget that. Right. Uh, trades. So, well, I say trades is more of a bloody gift, and what an amazing gift it is too. Um, I know Shem Musso has just Ben has just done the video um, because he picked it. He, he's got uh, he got given a gift by the same YouTuber. Um, lovely guy. Again, like like Ben says, you know. It always put a smile on your face. All uh, these guys, I'll link down below anyway, uh, down there. But uh, yeah, it's Carl. It's Woodland Thirty Seven, and he amazingly he's just sent me uh, Mario. He's Mario Party Six. Um, offered him, you know, cash trade, whatever. But like I say, he very kindly sent me. He, he did say it's scratched, but uh, I'll give it a whirl. I'm pretty sure I could, I could probably get them scratches out one way or or to the. So. Yeah, you know, other than that, I mean, it's amazing. Um, I, I don't think I showed it, but I picked Mario Party 9 up for the week. Uh, my kids absolutely love it. That's all the my, my youngest wants to play, Mario Party 9. So, yeah, awesome. They haven't played any of the GameCube ones yet. I think I've got four, four and six, I think. Um, so, and I know eight wasn't very good, because I remember, remember Carl saying it, it was crap. I mean, they still liked it, but I must admit, Number nine, they actually absolutely love, but uh, I digress. Carl, Woodland37, cheers mate. Please guys, check him out. He's a really, really honest, down to earth, sort of naive, I think that's the right word, and he probably wouldn't mind me saying that, um, guy. Uh, but yeah, lo loves his games, and he's got a cracking little daughter there as well. Um, so yeah, thumbs up there, Carl. Cheers mate. Right, next one. This is, this is a big, 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 big trade. Big, big trade. With uh, again another fellow YouTuber, he's not long uh, sort of started doing videos, and he's only just recently gone in front of the cam. So well done there, mate. Yeah. So we've done a massive trade, and that was with Mr. Lumpies uh, Gareth. Um, he's, uh, he's trying to go for a full Xbox set. So uh, good luck with that, mate. Uh, he had a shitload of uh, Mega Drive stuff that he, he just basically didn't want. He picked up the car boot. It's in you know there's bits, bits. There's manuals missing from the odd game, which doesn't bother me too much. Um, and yeah, so we, we, we did a trade. I've, I've whizzed the stuff off to him. Hopefully, he'll get it soon. Um, again, I always feel like I'm shortchanging people with trades. And, you know, feel like, damn, I've got to give him more. But ah, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do future trades and I can, I can make it up to him. Um, so yeah, something like 20 odd Mega Drive games. I think I sent him 17 Xbox games. Um, what he did kindly do for me as well, and um, this is a, a sort of plea or a, yeah, it's, it's he begging. This is if anyone he sent me a couple of the points, uh, the Club Nintendo point things, um, because I'm two, I think I'm two items off like 500 points, which is like two two slips from getting uh, the item that I'm after. So if anyone's got any of these, you know, for the Wii or anything like that, or DS or anything. Um, points that they don't need or don't want, uh, I say you don't have to send the thing through, you can just PM me the code and I can chuck it in, because I say I only need two more to get the item I'm after and then, then I'm pretty much done. Um, on a weird note, and I'm not sure if he still watches videos, but uh, 
I did um, speak to Marcus at Xfile 2708. Sadly, he's no longer in the YouTube community making videos. But uh, he did actually, we, we did a trade on, on one code. Because if you have the same game, you can't um, claim it twice, which is fucking stupid. So, yeah, we did a, we did a swap. Uh, so, thanks Marcus if you, if you do watch, mate. Really appreciated that. So, anyway, sorry, I digress. Back to Mr. Lumpies, uh, Gareth. So, he had, he had this game. I didn't need the manual out of it because I picked it up earlier. And Gent, he very kindly sent that along. And that's Strider. So, I now have a complete copy of Strider. And I'll, I'll file that away. And then, the games. The games. Bloody tons of them. Right. So I say, he, did, he put a video up saying this is what he's got, and he was honest enough, you know, sort of condition, and this has got a manual, that hasn't got a manual. Um, I want to first, a lot of these, to be honest, is just stuff that, the kind of games that I've sort of seen, I thought, oh, I wouldn't mind having that, but they're all, you know, it's kind of like, not I go for a 99p, but then it's all the posters and packing on top, and before you know it, you're just like, three or four quid, you think, I don't really want to pay three or four quid for it. Um, he said he'd only paid a quid or so for the car boot, so he is happy to let them go and uh, say he's going for the full Xbox set. So I'll just dive straight in. I say you, some of you guys probably will have seen these, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be as brief and as uh, you know as quick as I can. So I've got box complete Aladdin. We've got a box complete California games. We've got Japanese Spider Man. Which is complete. Yeah, in really good condition actually. We've got uh, Rise of the Robots. Again, this is it, it is this is what I'm talking about. Well no means the greatest game, but I don't really want to be paying you know more, more than a quid or whatever for it. It's complete. But it's one of the ones I want to play and try for myself. Um, Mario and Dretti Racing, complete. This is another game I've, I want to get this on the Super Nintendo. I've been watching this a few times on eBay. Um, just look at the prices and stuff, and I don't know how this fares on the Mega Drive. Uh, I know the Super Nintendo used all four buttons for the directional fire, I believe. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, Super Smash TV, missing the manual. So, any of these are missing manuals, if anyone's got any knocking about, please give me a shout. Uh, so yeah, super, looking forward to giving that a blast, Super Smash TV. Uh, Lotus 2 Rex, which is complete. Yeah, let me swap the case out on that. Um, Pelé, again, not the greatest game, I don't think. That's complete. This uh, this is another game. Uh, I played this on Amiga. I played the first one on the Amiga and the second one on the Amiga. The first game is awesome. It's awesome for its time. It's, it's probably still quite impressive now. I think it uses rotoscoping, a bit like Prince of Persia. And that's Flashback by Dalfine Software. Um, <laughs> now, if I told you this was a PAL release, you'd all shit yourself. But it's not. Um, but it's Lakers versus Celtics. This is the US version. I could have just tricked you and just done this, couldn't I? Look. And then I guess what I've got Lakers versus Celtics. But it's not. It's a Genesis version, which is quite common. Um, but again, that's complete. Um, another one of the games, again, wouldn't mind giving it a blast. Don't, I, I think this is one of the very few Disney games that doesn't hasn't got a very good reputation, but. Again, I want to play it. It's Tailspin. Oh yeah, this is this is a weird one. Um, one of my heroes, if that's the right word, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade. It hasn't got the manual. It's got some weird game gear instruction manual inside it. So yeah, if anyone's got a manual for that, so at the minute, we're at, yeah, two of that manuals. Uh, Back to the Future Part Three. That's complete. Yeah, yeah, very good condition. Uh, Pitfall, love a bit of Pitfall. That's complete. Um, I did have this. I did have this. I have got this. Um, just a loose cart. I can't. I picked it up in a bundle somewhere. I can't think. Uh, but it's Alien Three. Again, missing the manual. If anyone's got a manual for that one, we really appreciate that. One of these box games in you know for for a box, pretty good condition. It's a summer challenge. That's complete. Another complete one is Art Alive. And lastly, uh, yeah, it's complete as well, is Psycho Pinball. So, Gareth, 
Mr. Lumpies, really appreciate that, mate. Awesome, awesome YouTuber. Well, awesome up and coming YouTuber, I, sh I should say. Uh, like I say, he's, he's got in front of the cam, so well done there, mate. And uh, keep it going. Really, you know, you, 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 you'll, uh, you'll feel more comfortable, you'll relax a little bit more, and uh, yeah, you, you, you'll be fine, mate. So, excellent, excellent trade there with, uh, with Mr. Lumpies. Please, guys, check both of them out. Uh, Carl Woodland37 and uh, Mr. Lumpy Gareth. Not, well, it's not Lumpy, but anyway, right. More beer. Um, I'll quickly do some bits of picked, um, picked up off eBay. Three American SNES games. To be honest, it's only two of them that I was, that I was really after. The third one, uh, I, pretty, I think it's, it's a, it's pretty much a turd. Um, so yeah, three uh, American SNES games. I've got this is the turd, I think. Hard driving, which on in the arcades, <laughs> it was. This came out when I was like fucking I don't know like twelve or something, and it's in the arcades. It it, you, it played like a real car with gears and the clutch and everything. Fucking no chance. We got no chance of driving this thing. We just wanted to, like, we thought it was like outrun. Pedal to the metal and burn rubber. No, this is a proper bloody driving simulator. Um, I don't think it ported very well to the consoles. Someone will probably be able to prove or disprove that anyway. And I'll find out for myself. Um, this one is known as F1 Exhaust Heat here. Uh, I think, yeah, Pete picked this up. And I remember seeing this when it came out on... Uh, originally on the SNES and thought that looks really good fun game and then Pete picked it up and played it and I was like oh I want to get that you know cause I'm pretty sure I, I played that the Japanese version a you know again years ago because there used to be um, a guy at one of the car boots that me and my mate used to, to go to obviously with his parents and what you could do you could take say if you had like um, a boxed uh, Super Nintendo game you could take that one you paid I think it's like three quid or something and then you could basically three quid. You could you could have another game, and uh, we did that a few times. Uh, and I'm pretty sure um, F1 Exhaust Heat was one of the games. And I remember the other one uh, that we did that for was Fire Pro Wrestling. We couldn't understand a fucking word of what was written on the Japanese thing, but it was it, it an awesome wrestling game. Anyone who's played any of the Fire Pro games will tell you probably some of the best wrestling games on, on any system. So yeah, so that's uh, F1 Rock Race of Champions, aka F1 Exhaust Heat. And then the other one is a game called something slightly different, um, and I'm pretty sure it's called Football Champ, but it, they, these call it Super Soccer Champ. And again, another another cracking arcade football game. This so you can punch knee and everybody else in the head. Again, it's just for nostalgia. I think I picked them up. I think five quid delivered. So what you're looking at, pound a game, something like that. Odd. Mm. Okay. Um, probably not been my fault. This this purchase probably wasn't my finest hour. I don't know what overcame me. I think it was um, I got a bit flummoxed by the pricing. As you know, uh, HMV and Blockbuster has gone to the wall. Well, going to the wall as as good as gone down the pan anyway. So they've got this. Um, Closing down sale. I'm pretty sure it's being done by the same people because I noticed in um, Blockbuster and in HMV they've got the same bracketing of, of uh, items. So it's like pre-owned games or whatever is 30% off, uh, and and so on. And and even all the stickers look the same. So anyway, I went in HMV. There weren't anything much much doing. Uh, and then I went to one of the Blockbusters, and there's a couple of Wii games there. Uh, I don't think I've done very well here, to be honest. But I got all caught up in it because it's like they weren't mega expensive, and I'm just all thirty percent off. And I'm shit with maths anyway, so I couldn't really work out the exact things. And uh, they come to thirteen quid, I think, something like that. Um, which, yeah, you probably talk about four pound a game, which is I've, I've overpaid. And I've overpaid on, on one of them for fucking sure. I know that. So the one that I picked up three games. Um, so. This is definitely one I've overpaid on, I know I have, and it's Mad World. Yeah, like I say, it's 4 30% off. They're all complete, 
they're all, they're all got stuff in there. No points cart, no VIP. I did ask him, I said, he, have you got even in the drawer? Because like I say, I need bloody two. But now nah, he went having a jar of it. Um, this one I'd seen the week before. And it just, it, it, it was, it looked interesting. Um, and I ummed an ad, and I put it back down again, because um, when I went in the other week, there's one woman there, and some guy was buying only a couple of DVDs, and it took a fucking 20 minutes to find one disc, and I was like, can't be dealing with this, I just put the stuff back and, and fucked off, like. Uh, but went back this week, and there's a guy there, not, not a problem. Um, yeah, so I'd seen this one, when I came back home, I, I, I did a bit, like, looked online and that, and the prices, and I thought, actually, it's not a bad price. So, luckily, when I went back this week, it was still there, uh, and it's a Puna, and it's by Koi, Koi, it's a bit of an R uh, RPG elements to it, um, but yeah, it looks quite interesting, so I grabbed that, and then the last one, um, again, I don't think I've overpaid on this one too much, uh, but it's probably not as good as the deal as, as the, the making out, really, but it's the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, the Crystal Bearers. A lot of crystals going on in this title. Um, again, does what it says on the tin. It's a Final Fantasy game based on like, the, I think it's based on the GameCube uh, iteration with, with the crystals and stuff like that. So, yeah, you've got the little Moonkin there in the corner. Uh, again, I don't know anything about any of them games, so if anyone knows if they're shit or whatever, I think, I've, I've, like I say, as a bundle, I've probably overpaid, but but like I say, that that thirty percent off thing with HMV and Blockbuster, I don't know if it's as good a deal as, as they're making out, but the personal thing is, you wait until you literally they have, they have, they have to liquidate everything, and then they might reduce the prices. But hey ho, right uh, next up. A uh, couple of charity shop pickups, two Xbox original games, um, both a quid. So we've got Return of the King, complete, and Third Age, Lord of the Rings Third Age, complete, quid. So, not bad there. Uh, what have we got here? These, oh yeah, a couple more. I can't remember where I got these from now. These are charity shops as well, actually. They're charity shop. That was... Uh, that's crack converters. Charity shop, charity shop. Crack converters. Charity shop. Right. So, a couple more charity shop pickups. I think these are quid. If, if that. Um, did have my list on me. So, for a quid, and I thought, I don't really... I, don't, I haven't seen this on... Um, on the, this is an Xbox game. I haven't seen this out in a while before, so uh, I thought well, I'll, I'll grab it for a quid. If, I, if if it doesn't play in the 360, then it will be up for trade, probably to Mr. Lumpies if he needs it. Uh, and it's The Sims. And uh, it's, it's, I'm sure it's complete. Yeah, it's all it's all complete. The case is fucked though. So I can swap that out. Um, then a couple of PlayStation 2 games. Again, a quid each. This one doesn't have the manual. I know it doesn't, but um, it's one I wanted to play. It's International Track and Field. Some of these sports ones can be quite good, uh, and some of them can be complete shit. So, I don't know. J jury's out on that one. And then two sort of driving games. Again, I don't know anything about these, but for a quid, I thought I'd give them a blast. And it's Ford Street Racing, all both complete, and Groove Rider Slot Car Racing. Just a couple of cheeky PlayStation 2 games. Mm. Like crack converters. These ones are 20p each. No, sorry. These ones are 20p each. This one was a pound. Um, don't see many of these actually in there, to be fair. Uh, this was the only GameCube game that it had, and, it, and I needed it, so bonus. And that's uh, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. That was 99p. It's got both the discs and the man manual, so that's all right. And if we're saying crack converters, these are, these are all 20p. Uh, we've got Fight Night Round 2. So, yeah, she tried to rip me off on this one because she said it's a quid. And I told her, no, it's 20p. It's got two stickers on it, look. 
one says 99p and one says 20p. But it's 20p. And then um, two PS2 games that I'm pretty sure I haven't got, but for 20p I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll have them. World War Zero and uh, Killzone, which I think that quite a lot of people uh, rave about. Uh, and the reason why I picked them up, because when I asked the guy, um, I sort of, just sort of said to him about the GameCube, said, oh, we've got any more of these knocking out the back or anything like that. He went, no, no, whatever we've got is out there sort of thing. Um, and I said, oh, what about LPS1 games? He goes, no, no, like I say, you know, whatever we literally, whatever we get, we put out there. He goes, some guy comes in and just picks them all up. I'm fit. I thought, fuck that. Right, that's it, motherfucker. I'm buying them. So I just went and picked them up for 20p. But I th I'm pretty sure I need them anyway. Um, but yeah. So obviously there's this... There's, uh, I'm not going to get onto resellers, but... Fair. Right. From a different day... No, actually, sorry. Uh, from a pawn shop uh, that, that I go to. A um, couple of games here. Now, i seen one of them. I thought, oh, well, I'll have that. It's not... It's not, not the cheapest, you know, by any means. The, the two Game Boy games, original Game Boy games. Um, and they had another one there. They had Mario Deluxe, like the colour, Game Boy colour. I couldn't remember if I had that or not. So I ummed and ahed. And then I seen this other one at the back. When initially I looked at it and I thought, oh, no, I don't want that. And when I looked at when I went into the... Because obviously I had to say to the guy, I want that game. And then I looked at this one a bit closer. And I noticed who it was by. And I thought... Do I take a punt on it? And I'm glad I did actually, because I, 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 I've looked online, and to be fair, I've, I've, I've done all right. So, two Game Boy games. So the first one is Mystic Quest. Hang on, let me get closer. So there you see, two quid look, which is probably more than I'd like to spend on a Game Boy game. But and then the other one is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And I say it's by Sunsoft. So when I got a bit closer to it, I thought. You know, I mean, there's, there's a few companies that you know don't really make that bad games. You know, not not generally anyway. Not, Sunsoft tends to be one of them. I mean, Batman is a great example of that. So yeah, uh, I think I did all right there. And then I told you this was going to be a long one. Right, another day, different crack converters. Went in. Uh, they had a couple of, well, a shitload of like PS2 sports, no good, no shit. Um, and it looked like they had um, some more Xbox games were coming because they just sort of stacked them on top of the other ones as opposed to sort of filing them in. Uh, so I seen this one, I thought, oh, look at that. I didn't have, didn't have any less than I thought, oh, for, for a quid, uh, again, you know, I know that Mr. Lump is collecting the Xbox games now anyway, so I thought, well, look. Worst case scenario is, I'll pick it up for a quid and if I can trade it on to say like Mr Lumpy or anybody else out there, then everyone's a winner. Um, and I don't know, if, I think this is the only system this has released on, unless someone else probably tell me differently, but it's Crazy Taxi 3 on the Xbox original, and I say it's a quid. Uh, it's complete. And that's all there. Um, but uh, yeah, it doesn't. It's not 360 compatible, so bummer. But like I say, for a quid. Um, so this this particular crack converter doesn't generally get much retro stuff in it. It's usually like Xbox and PS2, and that's about it. Um, but they've got like a little cabinet thing there, which I think most of them have anyway. And I've seen a couple of cartridges. Um, I couldn't see them all, so I said to the chap, "Oh, can I have, have a quick look at your 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 Game Boy stuff?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, no problem." Um, so there's a, I think there was a Game Boy Advance coming in, there's a couple of games in there. And it's like, who wants to be a millionaire? Fucking pop idol or something else. And then there was this one, and it's uh, Spyro 2 Season of Flame. And that was 50p. But I think I've got that, so I thought, 50p, I could trade that on. It's good trade fodder. Um, this one, I was like, oh, I don't think I've got this, but I couldn't remember. But again, for 50p, I thought, I'm having it. And it's Pokemon trading card game. I'll say 50p. Um, so I grabbed them two, and uh, oh, no, actually, then there was uh, two X, uh, two N64 games, World Cup 98, which I know I've got, and this one, and I couldn't remember if I had it. And for 50p, I thought, well, I'm gonna grab it anyway. Again, if if I've got it, it's it's quite not not bad trade fodder, and it's ready to rumble boxing too. 
and that's 50p. So as I grabbed them, the chap said, he goes, oh, we've got some more in the drawer down here. He's the only young lad. And I was like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah. So he opened the, this little bottom drawer up, and sure, sure enough, there's a few bits in there. Um, there was another one of these. Another, there was another Pokemon trading card game. And since checking on the old fucking flea bay, these go for about a fiver, so I should have grabbed it. But there you go, see? Um, but what I did have, and I, I, I have already got one of these, but I thought, and you get, there's no price in it, so I said, how much is that? He goes, oh, make me an offer. And I said, 50p. He's like, yeah, fine. Uh, it's an N64 transfer pack. So I've got the, the complete one for, in the um, box Pokemon that I picked up before Christmas. So yeah, I don't know if it works or not, but for 50p, can't be bad. Right, it's still going, guys, still going. I might have to put a break in because I've got to get another beer. Okay, the last pickup video I did, I mentioned um, a visitor's shop and they had some stuff in there. Um, I think I showed some of it. It was like uh, the Mass System game, the Kung Fu Kid and stuff. So I managed to go back again today, like I said I would. Met the owner and I've picked up quite a fair bit of stuff, um, has to be said. Not quite for the prices that I was hoping, I must admit. Um, but I'm hoping that, she, that they're going to dig some more stuff out because I had a little chat with them and, and, and whatnot. So, fingers crossed, it might be a nice little source of something. It, the, it's not going to be the deal of the century, I don't think, from them. Um, but it, it might be a nice little way just for me to, to top up some of my collection. So, I mean, they're bringing out boxes of stuff, all loose carts and, and, and whatnot, and I was just sifting through everything else. Bit, bit, I was a bit surprised, and I'll come to that in a minute, because it just sort of went a bit nuts with the, with the, the, with the, with the pricing. So, anyway, brought a shitload of loose carts on um, the Mega Drive. So, the couple of games I've picked up, uh, these are all two quid each, right? So, I'm, I was a little bit, I didn't find this out, what they said was like, isn't is an empty box, Put everything you're interested in that and then we'll price it up and I thought they were going to do me a deal and I was like well, these are all £2 and this is all £2 and this is this much and I was thinking fucking hell I thought we were going to cut a deal here but now people say to me hang on a minute Tootie you're fucking you know you're a haggler you should have knocked them down a bit this that and the other I would have but I thought if I pay what they're asking for initially they'll know I'm a you know a good buyer for want of a better word and then as I get, you know, buy a bit again here and there, and then I can, you know, maybe come to an agreement with them. That's my thinking. It, it probably won't work out, and they'll probably just keep charging me fucking retail. But anyway, so I, I, I digress. So a couple of games, loose Mega Drive ones. Is uh, Mr. Nuts. Obviously, Pete Snes Tastic picked up on the Snes, and this one here, and I don't know why. It's because it just looks so plain and bland. Um, I thought, for, and I've said at this point I didn't know it was too quick until afterwards. Um, but I thought I'll, I'll take it. It's a Genesis game, and I don't think it's got a power release. And I don't know anything about it either. So if anyone does, let me know. And I've, I've, I say I only picked these up today. Uh, it's called Target Earth. So as you can see, there ain't much to it. So if anyone knows anything about Target Earth, let me know. I mean, technically, fuck it, tell you what, what we'll do. Let's knock um, splatter house off. I had a chance to clean them even, so. Let's see what Target Earth is all about. Here we go. Fuck all. That's good, isn't it? Not a fucking sausage. <laughs> Double blow. Not happy. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Here we go. Right, this is Target Earth. So, while well, you guys watch that, you can let me know if it's any good or not. Um, so yeah, 
Um, well, I've, I've lost my thread now. Mega Drive, Mega Drive. Right, the only other Mega Drive game I picked up from them, and I can't remember who said who was, who was talking about this. They said it's probably the, the best outrun game on the system. I think it might have been Stone Ninja Bearhug, but I could be wrong. Um, but I've got the manual and uh, the cartridge. And it's Outrun 2019. They put them in these last little baggies. To be fair, which, you know, keeps. So there we go. And again, that was two quid. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? Right. Sticking with Mega Drive. The only box Mega Drive game I picked up. And again, I thought, like, that's a sport one. They're not going to charge too much. Fucking two quid. So I'm a little bit. I think it's going to even itself out. Um, but, like I say, I think it's it, it's kind of a speculate to accumulate, I think that's the word. So this one is NBA Jam Showdown. It's complete, but like I say, two quid for sports games, probably a bit, a bit too much. Um, what else did I get? Right. Go with Atari. Two, two 2600 games. Uh, we've got Chopper Command. Again, two quid. It's got the label and all that. And Solaris. Again, I don't know anything about these ones. Boxed Game Gear game. Uh, Dragon Crystal. Box looks like it needs a bit of a clean. I can, I can probably spruce up a little bit. Get rid of some of the smudges and stuff like that. Which looks like it's had a couple of stickers over it. Um, but it's complete. It's all in there. So you've got this like, little rental sticker here, but yeah, so, see that's not too bad for two quid, I can live with that for two quid, to be fair, um, it's all in there, like, so it needs a fucking good clean, but yeah, it's all there. So like I said, they went a bit, bit nuts with the pricing, um, they brought out some Spectrum games, uh, so there was only a couple that I was after, two quid, I aren't paying two quid for a Spectrum game. That ain't gonna happen, I'm sorry, you know, so I'll put them back. Um, I should have put probably a couple of these back. Um, but to be fair, they'd, they'd sort of gone out of the way to help me, so I felt a bit bad from that respect. Right. Sega, more Sega. Pick these two up purely for the manuals. Uh, I've got the games. Um, but I, I couldn't remember if, a, a if I needed the manuals or B what condition my manuals were in. For, and for two quid, I thought, stuff it. I, I, I know I can um, move these on anyway and get my money back for the two quid. So, Missile Defense 3D. Here we go. Oh, there he went. Missile Defense 3D. And that's the stuff. And. Let's do it that way. Double Hawk. Again, I don't. I'm, I don't think. I, well, I've checked my manual list, and I don't need the manuals. But I don't know what condition my manuals are in. So, if they're better, great. If not, yeah. this one I definitely knew I needed. The, when I seen this and I had the manual, I thought I'm having that. And again, for two quid, I paid two quid all day long for um, box mass system games with manuals, uh, and it's great volleyball. So. It's not quite in a very good condition, actually. So yeah, that's one another manual down. Woohoo! Um, so I've, I've got a copy of Great Volleyball, less than manual. Uh, going begging now. Oh, sort of stretch my legs out. Last three games from this, from this store is um, Super Nintendo game. For two quid. I thought, yeah, I'm having that. This is what I mean. This might. It might back even itself out across the board, um, but it's a US version of Super Mario Kart. So obviously I've got a boxed Mario Kart, and I think I might have a loose UK Mario Kart. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I might, you know, if anyone's interested in that, uh, PM me. Uh, I might might move that on, give it a clean. This, this just needs a clean up, uh, just to re recoup some of the outlay from that. These two I know nothing about, but for two quid for a NES game, I thought I'm having them. First one is High Speed Worlds Number One Pinball. Like I say they're just a little bit grubby, like because to be fair to them, they've been pulling these out of storage. Um, and four player tennis with a nice sleeve. Again, two quid, all two quid. So yeah, 
Uh, and judging by old um, Target Earth, it just looked like they all need a good fucking clean. So, right, I'm going to pause this a minute and grab another beer because I'm gasping. Four pint tea. Fucking hell, eh? Right. Last three things from that shop, sort of game related but not games. I was gutted because one of the ones that I was after had sold it. So I don't know which bass has got that. But I picked up some t-shirts. You know, I do like my t-shirts. And uh, it's not very often you see sort of the game related ones. Um, now the woman sent these from, were from America, uh, and I'm not sure how much truth there is in that, and to be honest, I couldn't really care, because they're, they're pretty awesome, and well, I think they're awesome anyway. So I've got three t-shirts, uh, I think about four quid each, I think, something like that. So, first up we've got Classically Trained. So, these will be worn uh, in the later video. They're a little bit of the larger side, but um, I can live with that. This is one of them that I was definitely going, went back to get. Um, so I think the pictures, the graphic on this is awesome. And uh, yeah, there you go. So we've got Yoshi there. Pretty cool. And then lastly, another one, similar colour, is Nintendo one. So yeah, the one t-shirt they, they had, they've off, like I said, they've sold it. It was a Sonic one, it had Sonic on the front, but it had like the Sonic motif on the sleeve as well, it looked, it did look pretty cool, so I was a bit, bit miffed at, um, I missed out on them really, so yeah, that's all the sort of pickups um, from there, I managed to bag myself some more Mass System games, um, I don't need any, in, I don't need any of them, um, but I do need one of the manuals, but she wouldn't, she wouldn't part with it, so, I thought, well, if I buy the lot, there's a, a couple of games in there that I should be able to get some of my money back off of anyway. So, you've got the obligatory Horrible Mark II. Ugh. Like I say, I've got it. It's got all the The power lead looks like it's, it's fucking at it. It's got all tape everywhere on it. I don't know what point of that is. Um, yeah. So I've got. Oh, there's a control pad. Oh, that's a good, quite a good nick. Control pad. Alright, so we've got some games here. So there's only one game. You'll, you'll, well, I'll, I'll tell you which one it is that I was after. Uh, let me get there. One loose cartridge, which ain't nothing to shout about. So the loose. To be fair, some of these boxes are in really good condition, so these will be uh, these will be swapped out for ones that I need. So loose car is Tasmania. Right. Cart only. That's uh, cart only. Cart and box, battle outrun, no instructions. If anyone's interested in these, let me know. Okay? Um just say I've got them all. Boxed. Afterburner, no manual. Yeah. Well, it would have it in, wouldn't it? Oh, the cartridge is freaking out. I'm not sure if I've got one of these spare. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. With the manual, but the cart looks really chewed. There's a manual lot, but the cart looks really chewed up. Um, I'll check to see. If anyone's interested in that, let me know. I'll check to sort of see if I've got. Because I've got a little pile of loose cartridges. Um, I'm not sure if Sonic's in that one though. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. So we've got a box complete Lemmings. That's complete with a box of manual. I'll show you guys. Uh, jungle Book. The manual, but again, the cartridge is the. Uh, I'm not marking it. No, that's not too bad. Complete Super Tennis. Good Nick. It's that one. 
you know, I've got about 20 copies of this fucking game. Castle of Illusion, no manual. That's quite nice. Uh, so I think these next couple would be, I, I, I'm not going to say I can get my money back, but I'll get a, a fair chunk of it back that I need, I think, just from these, over, from these alone. Um, so we've got Tom and Jerry the movie, which is complete with manual. Box is uh, collapsing itself. Uh, we've got, that's a shame. Uh, Ghostbusters, no manual. This one I've got as well, it's a shame it's missing the manual, mine's complete. Uh, it's Fantastic Dizzy. No manual. And this is this is the game I was after. This this alone will go for ten quid. Easily. All day long. Um, so again I'm I'm just after I'm just after the manual. Uh, which is a good job because the cart's yeah, probably not the best condition. So the game is Zool. Manual's in good nick actually, so there's a manual but the cartridge as you can see, there's a few little nicks that knocks out of it. So uh, yeah, so if anyone's interested in any of them games, you know, give us a shout guys. Um, I say I've got them all, I'll, I might swap the odd case out here and there because I think I probably need about four cases or whatever because just a few of mine are probably missing hanging tabs and stuff like that so I'll have them off, off, off of that. Um, but yeah, I mean even like, you know, like I say the Master System 2 I don't, I don't, don't need. I don't even. I, I think they look horrible. Um, the only problem with that, though, I, I, I wouldn't be comfortable in sending you out the um, the power supply because it's got like all this black tape on it. Look. So I don't know if it's. Oh, oh, actually, no. What they've done. No, what they've done, guys. They've taped it all along to keep the two wires together. It's their attempt to. Um, Cable management, I think, so it should be all right. Um, so, if you're interested in any of that, give us a shout. We can sort some out. You know, trades, PayPal, me the money, or, or something like them lines. Um, I have finally finished. Uh, fuck knows how long it's took. It feels like quite a while, but uh, yeah. Take it easy, YouTube, and I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks, Em.